at everyone with a little furry thing update we changed the release time to 8 p.m est which is 7 p.m here was supposed to come out this time but it was delayed and it's like cool uh to better align with players in other time zones and then an update at 6 59 p.m one minute from release update had to switch from my laptop to my main computer which took a couple of minutes so we might be a couple of minutes behind ensure everything works before shutting down the game nice Okay, guys, I'm back, like, uh, one day later. <laughs> yeah, so it did get delayed by, like, two hours, and I decided to record today on it. But, yeah, finally, this is just a re-release -re of Hardcore Crap. So, this is the little release log thing, and Nico DJ and pretty much most of the female towers are found within the deluxe crates. And these deluxe crates will, of course, cause, uh... Wow, they don't even cost coins. They cost Robux, so... In order to unlock just one, and is there still a chance you, you you don't get to pick which skin you want? You have to pay 300 Robux. So I just spent nearly a thousand Robux now on just these crates. I actually dislike that a lot. That's I don't like the idea of that. But uh, we do have the Nico DJ right there. <laughs> what? I don't think the vet's supposed to do that. I can imagine him out of Sims willing to pay a thousand Robux just for some female towers. I mean, if you're paying this much Robux, you should be able to choose a skin you want. I mean, come on, dude. Okay, let's see if I get uh, Maid Commander. Maid Commander is the next skin I want. Okay, let's see if I get Maid Commander again. I believe the last one should be the Ace Pilot for my, for my top. Oh, no, it's uh, Nico Commander, but this is a guy, so who cares? Just I'm gonna try out the new hardcore lobby thing. Teleport destination unknown. Yes, it should be the exact same thing. Um, it just says re-release, so there should be a lot more fixes and does it work a lot smoother. I'm doing that same trick again where I go inside a lobby, then I, I just I just jump out because I want to cheat, but I can't let players win with me because of that. <laughs> I joked them all. And yeah, these are five towers that I really wanted to showcase. Uh, the motor got some new looks and now has like a little nuclear symbol on it. And just overall, the new stages and appearance of it. And also, reload animations are very much appreciated. And then John Tower got completely removed and replaced by Metallon. This is level zero all the way to the max level. Max level no longer has the damage buff. I'm not sure if that's going to be put back in the game, but... Yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I personally dislike this change, but below removed it because, like, John was, like, the only... Nico DJ, uh, she has some new... Well, a lot of new stuff in the trailer. She didn't look this great. And as you can see, the little lights move, the bottom portion, the screen moves, little lights on the bottom as well. The screen in the background. I think my unlocker makes that look like trash. And then some new dance animations as well for her so pretty cool stuff this is what she looks like at the base level by the way oh i really hate how they place so many tower caps it's so annoying to see that but yeah this is like the base level and she has a different uh dance move so two of them were removed and two new ones were put in i guess i wish that they all were put in the game or for this tower at least this is the Maid Commander. She now has her own voice lines as well. We can barely hear it if we click this button. Thank you, yeah, I can barely hear it. My friend Corey uh, voiced that tower, and she did a pretty good job. Although, it's just always, in general, uh, below forgets like about the sound things, and most of the characters in this game, their voices cannot be heard. So, if, if the volume was increased on that, that'd be great. This next clip is all of her voice lines. Uh, I'll just play it right now. Destroy the weak. Kill them all. Strengthen numbers. So yeah, pretty cool. And the golden minigunner got some new moves as well. Look at that. Looks looks pretty clean, man. And then when he stops firing, he is going to eventually like lift up his gun to go back into stance. Yeah, look at that. He uh has to pull his gun out and stuff. And then he begins firing. So there's a slight delay in firing for that tower. By the way, check out this uh, jello water. Look, jello lava. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of the orange flavored jellos I would eat a lot back then as a kid. It's pretty cool stuff, I guess. Also, you can see. Oh, crap. I forgot about these stupid rushers. 
Uh, I'm not really trying, by the way. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just cheating. But uh, if you guys can tell, there is a bit of uh, explosion visuals have been changed, and they look much cleaner, I guess. And they should be friendly on crap PCs and stuff like that. The mark over here, when he shoots his rockets, it still has the old explosions, or rather, they were just completely removed. Yeah, they were, they were removed. Rip. Overall, though, not much has changed, and if there is changes, is actually for the better in terms of visuals or movement-wise. But definitely for the John Tower, I think it's a bad idea to remove the damage buff. It, yeah. Oh, uh, John will be returning though. It's just as a skin for the Metallant Tower. I don't know when that'll come out. It comes out soon though, and it will be a code that I can get that I, I can give out. So, cool stuff. Yes. Yeah, so John Tower lives. It's just not in the store no more. Fall on time, looking pretty pretty hot today. Six thousand health. And just like in the trailer, it does a little smash attack and stuns all your towers. So, really annoying to deal with. But, you know, of course, you know, I have cheats, so I don't really care. <laughs> Fun fact, this tower has been hyped up for, like, nearly a year. Uh, I remember releasing the trailer back in January when we had the XR things, you know, moving around that in, in that trailer. And they're still not a game. They have been delayed so long uh and now it's being replaced by this walker thing and it's still not ready in the game so that's kind of cool i guess uh grave the grave digger go i broke the game so you can see them still spinning uh but they're still attacking yeah so so you can't see no bullets you can't see anything visual wise of attacking besides from the cliff towers but you can see the damage counter go up and their barrels rotating. Uh, as for the Metallants, yeah, they're still doing damage. All right, cool. So this is a new tower defense similar uh, update, I guess. This, this, is what we, this is what we waited too much for. Yeah. Yeah. In a new trailer, when this clip was showing, I was thinking about putting sounds for how they walk, but I thought that would be a bit offsetting for the viewers, so I didn't throw it in. But I'm going to voice these towers now. <laughs> Crap, I'm, I'm delayed. Roblox thinks that uh, unit mark is a bad thing, so it didn't just tag that. Nice, dude. I don't know what this pulsing thing is. I, I, I'm pretty sure those guys were healing. I'm actually not too sure on that. But yeah, hardcore update is pretty hard, not gonna lie. Oh, cool. So you just speed okay, cool. Oh wait, I forgot I forgot the uh their their firing sounds. I nearly died from that, or well, I could, I, I could still die. I just need to spend more marks. Yeah, hardcore update is really hard. You need, you need an insane strat. But now with the John buff remove, I, I honestly don't see an easy way of doing this. Wait, what? Well, I, I lost. How? How? Do you not see this giant line of Mark fives? Wow. 